me when the world puts something that obvious in front of you, you don't just walk away. Yeah, but now we have to walk away, Jack, because This Is Us is over. But after that quiet epilogue of a series finale, we do still have some burning questions. Luckily for us, series creator Dan Fogelman and star Mandy Moore, they've got answers. Number one, why did Rebecca die in the previous episode instead of the actual finale? According to Fogelman, quote, the reason was the theme of the show, the very thing that's spoken about at the end of the series. I don't believe that. You don't. You'll see. Just because somebody leaves, that doesn't mean the world doesn't continue and that they don't continue living with the family. So it was important to me that the last episode not be all about Rebecca's death and the sadness that revolves around her death, but to actually focus on a day that was just a normal slice of life in this family's history. Number two, which parts of the finale were shot well in advance? It turns out William and Randall's scene outside of the girls' bedroom, as well as scenes from the Pearsons' Lazy Saturday, were captured long before season six. Fogelman said he hadn't seen that footage in a while and quote, I didn't have a big full-fledged backup plan, which is what made it all a little bit terrifying. It's literally why I had to watch the first cut of the past footage with my wife, which I've never done before, because I was too scared to watch it alone. Number three, was the series always going to end with Rebecca and Jack? Short answer, yes. Fogelman says, quote, the show is about family and time, and the way a family loves one another. And I thought that this original love story, sentiment-wise, was the right language to end on. I love you. And here's what Mandy Moore told us about that final moment with co-star Milo Ventimiglia. He is my partner, and I think it was just, like, incredible to have that one last opportunity to look in each other's eyes and really recognize what this experience has been for both of us. And I know I will never, ever have a partner like him again in any regard, and I'm really grateful for it. So I try to just stay present and be in the moment with him. Number four, does Randall become president? According to Fogelman, quote, Randall's political journey ahead of him is probably the closest we come in this show to our Sopranos going to black at the end of the episode, and you're left to choose your own adventure as to what you think happens to him. Okay, then uh, if it's up to us, we vote president. And finally, is This Is Us truly and absolutely over, or might we see a spinoff? Fogelman says, quote, I'm pretty set on this being it. Who knows what change of heart my ensuing midlife crisis brings, but I really feel we've put these stories to bed now. And there you have it. Head to tvline.com for Kim Root's full recap and let us know what you thought of the This Is Us series finale in the comments. For tvline.com, I'm Andy Swift.